bikes, cats and motorbikes. You'll find both of them on the Isle of Man. But even though it's a tiny place, just 33 miles long by 13 wide, there's a lot more to it than pets and petrol. It's got its own particular brand of magic. Long-time resident Norman Wisdom shows us around. Don't laugh at me, cause I'm a fool. I know it's true, yes. I'm a fool, no one seems to care, but I do, <laughs> I care about this beautiful theatre. This is the Gaiety Theatre on the Isle of Man, and you know it's recently been refurbished. I came here in 78, did a summer season, about 14 weeks. I couldn't believe how glorious the island is. It's a beautiful place, and within a few months I bought a house, and I've lived here ever since. I tell you what, if you haven't seen it, you're raving potty, I'm going to show you around, come on. The four main towns on the island are the capital, Douglas, on the east coast, Ramsey on the north coast, the tiny city of Peel in the west, and the ancient capital, Castletown. That's in the south, with its lovely harbour and castle. There's so much to see, and one of the best ways to see it is on the Snaefell Mountain Railway. <laughs> Mind you, they don't wait for anybody, especially me. This trip up the mountain from Laxey to Snaefell Summit, which is over 2,000 feet high, takes about half an hour. You can travel on a day explorer ticket, which entitles you to travel on all the other steam and electric railways on the island. Once we're up here, the legend's got it that we can see the seven kingdoms. England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, the Kingdom of Man, the Kingdom of Heaven, and the Kingdom of the Sea. Oh. So beautiful, but it depicts me. It is. I, I, I don't know what to say sometimes. I just feel that if. If I can. I'm sorry about it, it's too lovely for work. Douglas, on the east of the island, the, the Isle of Man's capital, it is, of course, it has got a nice new marina. And although it feels like you're abroad, you can still find your favourite high street shops. You know, there's 75,000 people live on the island, but 40% of the island is totally uninhabited. You know, there's some fantastic places to eat food on this island, and my favourite place is owned by a good mate of mine called Kevin Woodford, and it's called The Waterfront. The Isle of Man has loads of pubs and restaurants with a variety of menus to suit all tastes ranging from traditional eateries to trendy places like Blue and the Sefton. Local delicacies over here include Manx Queeners, which is of course a type of scallop. Now, this is the Laxey Wheel. Well, it's obviously a wheel, you can see that by looking at it. See? It's 72 feet high, and you know, it's the biggest working water wheel in the world. And this wheel has been one of the busiest tourist attractions since it was built nearly 150 years ago. This is Port Erin on the southwest coast. It's a great family beach, as I found out. Yes, I like to come to Port Erin because the pace is so easy here. I'm beginning to fancy a swim myself. <laughs> there's, there's something of everything here. From the mountains, the lagoons, the beaches. Oh man, oh. hot banana. <laughs> <laughs> the most popular event here is the famous TT races. They start at the end of May and attract over 40,000 fans every year. In fact, the island is a bit of a mecca for bikers generally. Hey, there's loads of museums on the, on the island, I'll tell you that, but my favourite is Murray's Motorbike Museum. Oh, it sits halfway around the TT course. Do you know what? I love this place. It's only three quid to get in and it's got over 140 bikes. The oldest one is nearly 100 years old. You want to see the TT race, oh the speed they go, past the, you know, well you need a neck brace really, you know, you know. <laughs> well, This is another lovely Isle of Man attraction. It's an old village called Cragneesh, it's around about 300 years old, and well there's some people still living in it, <laughs> they're not 300 years old of course, well some of them are getting on a bit, but uh, uh, how do you do? If this village reminds you of anything, 
I'm not surprised because it was actually used for the making of the film Waking Ned a couple of years ago. You know, there's eight very nice golf courses on this island and probably the nicest one of all is this one, Castletown. Well, there we are. That's it. The Isle of Man. I hope you like it because I love it. Oh. Oh!